And now we're going to go to my interview with Bruno Golny. She's a national front member of the European Parliament. And I began by asking him if his and other far-right parties were benefiting from a protest vote. The results are absolutely devastating. So what people want is not, is not nationalist. Is not, is, there's no uh, uh, aggressive in, intent towards other people. They, they just want to uh, maintain their independence their uh, uh, own uh, identity. Uh, they want to recover uh, part of the freedom of the possibility of choosing uh, different, uh, different uh, policy. People are not against cooperation within, with other European nations. Let me interrupt you for a moment, Mr. Golnish, and ask you, though, how are you going to make that happen? Your party is one of many, even though it's made considerable gains, and you really will have to join with other parties, far-right parties in the European Parliament uh, in some sort of umbrella organization. What is the likelihood, uh, given, for example, the British concern of the Independent Party about uh, Front National being anti-Semitic? Yes, I, I, I believe that the leader, uh, Mr. Farage, uh, believes uh, uh, too much in what is uh, written against us in hostile uh, British newspapers, you know. Uh, this is a, a part of demonization. Demonization doesn't uh, work anymore in domestic policy. Uh, what, I, what you could, but, but still, it has some effect abroad because people have no uh, possibility to compare and to understand and to realize what, what uh, the truth is. In fact, we are not at all anti Semite. There are many Jews uh, in our staff or even as uh, elected members. But what is true is that every time that in Europe, or I would say even in the world, that uh, a new uh, party, a new political trend uh, arises and we, we try to maintain national independence, national sovereignty, national identity, it's labeled as extremist, uh, extreme right, racist, xenophobic, uh, anti-Semite, uh, uh, and so on. This but, is but part of demonization. A, it, it's been a big it, concern, though, for other far-right groups in the parliament. The UK Independence Party has also been concerned about your party's anti-Islamic stance and uh, cons is concerned that that could have something to do with why uh, the, the right parties didn't win in, in the Netherlands. So what do you have to say about that? No, no, we, there are many, many uh, so-called Eurosceptics, that the people who now do share our analysis came to understand that Jean-Marie Le Pen uh, uh, was true. And there are many of these people in your, within Europe and even outside Europe, if I may say so, even in, in uh, African and Asian leaders uh, or, or American leaders, uh, some of them do share our views now. And obviously, we are cooperating with these people. We just want to get to the point about the euro. You, your party wants to abolish the euro. Your party has described it as an economic aberration. But a recent poll recently suggested that 60%, two out of three uh, of the French people, uh, want to keep the single currency. Um, so how do you plan to move forward? And are you out of touch with the voters on this issue? Well, uh, in many in many cases, we 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 went uh, uh, forward, and 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 the, and the voters came to understand our position, and uh, at the end, did uh, did share our, our views. Uh, the, the the result uh, proved uh, the euro uh, will 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 die. If, if the if the policy actual policy uh, goes on. It's not not only Front National will say so, but about. Uh, 10 uh, uh, economical Nobel Prize uh, will share uh, our views, at least at this point. They, they say either uh, euro will die anyway, or uh, euro will die if there is no uh, drastic change in uh, economical uh, policy in Europe.